What's up everyone, Zero here. So I wanted to make a quick video just about path of building. If you guys are new to POE and you see somebody say POB, this is what they're talking about. This is an outside tool that allows you to optimize your builds. And I wanna go over some of the really cool stuff you can do with this. If you guys find this content useful at all, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm pushing for a thousand subscribers, so I really would appreciate the support. So let's get into it. Here on the home screen, you're gonna see a note that says character import status is not enabled by GGG yet. So they are waiting for them to create an API, but when they do that, you will be able to import your characters directly in from the website. Let's start with items. The way you add an item into here is you can search by unique. So let's just put Astramentis, just to make this simple. You double click on here. You hit add to build and it will add it in here into the amulet slot and whatever amulets you add in there, they will be here on this drop down menu. Let's say that you wanted to add a rare item. You click craft item, select the rarity. Obviously we want to do an amulet. You would click the base type. So let's say I wanted to do a gold amulet. Hit create. And then in here you can add whatever prefixes and suffixes you want. You can adjust the tiers right here so let's say i wanted to make them all max tiers add to build as you see here it is in the drop down menu you can choose this notice here underneath the affixes it's going to tell you what that item is going to grant you whether it's mana cost average dps average hit evasion rating etc fairly simple pop on over here to the tree and for now you're going to have to do this manually which is kind of a pain but it's well worth it because as you choose these nodes, it's going to tell you what allocating that node is going to do. So let's say you have a build right now that you have together and you want to see if making a choice is going to increase your DPS or decrease it. This will allow you to see by exactly how much it's going to do that. So this is a really good way to optimize your builds if you don't want to take the time in game to start messing around with stuff and then having to undo it and do it again over here on the left you're going to see your your stats for your character your resistances your damage reduction evasion etc this is fairly self-explanatory up here you choose your your character your ascendancy and your level let's pop over here to the skills if you want to add a new socket group hit new and then all you do is you choose your skill let's say just let's just do bone storm since it's the first one Click on it, and then underneath Bone Storm, you are just going to go ahead and add your links. Now, as you see here on the right, it does the same thing the skill tree does. Selecting this gem will give you whatever stats. If you're trying to get an accurate read of how much damage you're going to do with said skill, make sure to click Include in Full DPS, and you're going to see that's going to pop up down here in the left corner. Also, if the skill has multiple projectiles or whatever you can adjust the count of the projectiles right here as well let's say you have a spell that you really want to try out you just don't know which support gems are going to be the best for it this is a really good way to find that out not only will it tell you what is added to the damage but it's also going to tell you what is subtracted from the damage as well pop on over here to the calculation tab and this is where things get a little bit complicated as you can tell. So I'm not going to go over everything here because if you're new to this, this is something that you're probably not going to mess with at first anyway, but there is a lot of information over here. Under the skill details, this is where you would pick your main skill and it's going to tell you how much skill hit damage you're going to do. It's also going to tell you where those sources of damage are coming from, physical, lightning, cold, etc. It's gonna tell you your damage multiplier. It's gonna tell you your average hit and your skill DPS. It's gonna factor in your attack speed, your crit chance. It's also gonna give you your defense layers. It's going to tell you how much your estimated hit pool is. It's going to tell you and it's going to specify by what element, if it's physical, lightning, cold, fire, etc. Over here on the right, you're going to see your attributes and if you highlight them, it's going to tell you where they are coming from. If it's coming from the tree, if it's coming from an item, same with your resistances, same with your armor and evasion. You highlight it here 
and it'll tell you where that where those stats are coming from specifically. This is a really good tool for when other people make builds and you import them into your POB. You can see where all of the stats are coming from and then if you want to make modifications to the build you can do that and this tool is going to t help you learn how to optimize a build and if you're making mistakes you'll be able to see where you're making those mistakes like for instance like let's say i want to switch out a skill gem that's in a specific build that i'm trying to make and all of a sudden my damage sucks i can pop over here i can do the same change and it'll tell me exactly how it's affecting the skill that i'm trying to alter over here to the configuration tab as you see here, you would just click to the ones that do apply to your character. For instance, if you're using power charges, you would click that. Um, if you're using frenzy charges, onslaught, arcane surge, etc. If your character has a source of ignite, if it has a source of freeze or chill or shock, this is where you would choose that in the effective DPS. All of this stuff factors into the calculation of how much damage you're doing. If you want to see how your build is going to do against the hardest content you would click over here and just put uber pinnacle boss but most people just leave it at guardian pinnacle boss enemy level 84 it gives you a good idea of what your actual damage is going to be in game if you guys have any questions drop them in the comments i will make a more in-depth guide for this later on once they do create the api for them and that way i can kind of give you an example on how to do everything i just wanted to put together a quick guide for you guys just get it out there and hopefully you guys try it out because it's really an amazing tool so if that helped you out at all please consider subscribing and i will see you guys next time stay tuned peace